It's finally reached that time where I get to set up a new skateboard. My previous board I was riding was a real true fit mold. It was an 825 13.88 wheelbase, which made it kind of awesome, kind of rare. Can't really find that. And I believe it was 31 and a half inches long. I really enjoyed that board just because of that super small wheelbase. I felt like I was just able to pop easier. It had just more response. It turned really quick. I much skated it in the streets, but don't get me wrong, I took it into the bowls, like I hit it in the skate park and whatnot. Fortunately, that board's pretty razor tail now, and it's like kind of hard to let that board go because that shape and mold is like my favorite. So whenever I get rid of it, I know it's going to be a little while till I find it again. But in the meantime, I went to Rose Street, my local skate shop, and your boy picked up this quasi board. This thing is pretty rad. I actually like how it's super shiny. Like, I don't think it's going to really be that crazy when I flip my board. Like, I don't think it's going to really mess me up. I don't know, maybe it will in the sun, but I don't think it really will, but I guess we'll find out when we skate it. Um, this is also an 825. It has a 14 inch wheelbase, but I wasn't sure how long it was. It's actually kind of cool. It actually labels it right here. It does say 825. What is this length? Um, okay, it's just 32. So yeah, that, that seems about right. But like, it's like, it's 32 if you were to like smush it down. Like I did say, it is like a 14 inch wheelbase. I think that's exactly why I got it. Yeah, it's exactly a 14 inch wheelbase. I, I measure the wheelbase like by the middles of the screws, not just the end of it. If that makes a difference to somebody, I don't know. I'm just letting you guys know that's what I do. Uh, but this board's pretty chill. I actually didn't measure the nose. The nose looks really big and I like that. Like your boy likes a big nose. With all the like nose slide tricks I do, like flipping out, big spins out, whatever, the big nose always treats me well, helps me for popovers, helps me do even like nose slide crook and stuff. So whenever I look for a board in like the shape, I always look for a really big nose. And this is like a nice big round nose. Kind of funny because the tail is like interesting actually. Now that I look at it, it's almost slightly shovel tailed. Do you see that? I could be kind of tripping, but it's like kind of shovel tailed. And it kind of seems like it tapers in a little bit. I could be wrong, but. It's pretty chill. I also like how it comes with like a little poster or something inside and a sweet little sticker right there. So I feel like enough like holding this thing, we should like open it up, right? Okay, I don't wanna like cut that. Oh, you know what's kinda cool too? The warning was on the actual like plastic. Usually the warning sticker is like on the actual wood and it's kind of annoying to rip it off, so that's kinda cool. It looks like a PS stick is kinda what I assume this is. I could be totally wrong. Oh. I have, ooh, I'm excited. I've never had a quasi board, so I'm like super excited. But I do have like some quasi clothing. Like I have a few pairs of like quasi jeans and stuff, but I know it's not a skateboard. But let's take a look at this. Oh, this already looks cool. Oh yeah, this looks really cool. Oh. oh. Yo. Yo, the back is even sicker. Look at that. That's pretty sick. Yo, this is really dope. I actually think I might like put this up in the frame and like throw it up in one of the rooms. This is fresh. So that's kind of a cool little uh, something something. Kind of adds to the board value. You know, you got a cool little poster. It's kind of fresh. This is the quasi board. The other things we're going to be putting under the hood on this board. We're going to be riding Boardy Cakes 48 millimeters by 99 Duro. The 99 has been pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's like a good in between of like a soft and like a hard wheel. I guess it's more like, yeah, it's kind of like, a, you know, happy medium. I, I'd honestly prefer a hundred or 101. I do like a harder wheel normally just cause I do a lot of sliding tricks. So like no side tail slide tricks or even like 270 tricks. I like to be able to slide around a little bit, but the 99 is pretty smooth. Since it's a smaller wheel, I feel like the softer durometer actually kind of makes sense just to make the ride a little bit smoother. And these things are actually pretty wide which is kind of nice too for a small wheel because since it's wide I feel like it kind of counteracts how small it is and they have a pretty like round shape so they kind of cover your bearings and they cover like the nut of your truck so it's kind of good so even if you land like primo or something you won't be actually messing up your axles so then you won't have a problem taking your screws off. We also got some indie hollows right here. These are 149s. I know on an 825 you're supposed to ride like a 144 even is like a kind of like a perfect size for it. But I do like the 149 just for a few reasons. For me, I think it's a little bit easier to do certain grind tricks like crooked grinds, like feeble grinds. I do feel like with the hollow kingpin, I'm actually able to crank it down a little bit tighter than I could with my inverted kingpin. But don't get me wrong, I keep my inverted kingpins on my 169s and that's on my curb board. I'm gonna be reusing some pig rails. 
I mean, these are just always at the shop. They're pretty lightweight. And since it's on my street board and not like my curb board, it honestly works for me. Also right here, we have some pepper grip tape right here. Pepper has been honestly my favorite. The last like 10 or 12 boards I've had, honestly, I've just been rocking the pepper. I just feel like it's a good in-between mob and Jessup. I know it works for me, might not work for you, but I've been really liking it. It's not the ultra grip or anything special. This is just like the normal pepper grip. I don't think I talked about my bearings in here. These are bones bearings, but we'll get to that when we start putting the wheels in. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna start gripping this thing. Cause like, you know, obviously your boy's ready to rip this thing. And it's funny, this could be me, but like whenever I set up a new board, I usually like to skate it in a skate park. I feel like it's a safer break-in period for the board. Cause if I just bring a new board to like the streets, I feel like it gets torn up so fast and I'm always like, oh great. But yeah, that kind of happened to my other board recently where like I took it out and we hit a street spot right away and I already like chipped it and it got like destroyed within the first session. I was so bummed, but obviously I rode it for like two months. I'm also just gonna throw this thing on here. I have some colored hardware bolts, so I'm just gonna depend on those things. I don't know if you did see, but the pepper grip does have that like perforated holes. And it was funny, I forgot who I was just talking to. I feel like mobs holes in the beginning. I might be talking about this with Luke, I could be wrong. But like when mob grip tape was like kind of first new, like the holes in it, like the air, the air bubble holes were like really big. Like you would honestly like see your board, like you would see the top of like the wood of your board because the holes were so big. I could be wrong. I haven't had mob grip in a really long time. So maybe I should try it again. It's been a while. Anyways, it's not really important. Anyways, I'm gonna just like file this down and then, you know, get this thing cut up. Yo, this shape is actually crazy. Okay, now that I filed it down, you can kind of see it better. See the square tail a little bit like I was talking about. The nose is actually like way more round than the tail. This is the uh, nose over here if you're wondering. But yeah, I can't wait to skate this thing. Do you guys cut your grip tape like all in one grip or do you guys slit each little corner and cut it out? Cause that's like what I used to do. And I used to watch all the guys at the skate shop like cut their grip tape like all with one like cut. And I'd be like, whoa, they have so many years of experience of gripping boards. <laughs> That'd be so funny if there was like skateboard razor blades, you know? Never get dull. Cut and grind like your 50-50s, you know? Something like that. You, you, you see where I'm going. Oh, my board, it was kind of like dripping right there, heavy, whoa. That, that stuff grips. It's funny because I felt like the grip tape I used to use when I was a kid was uh, Black Magic. That was like what my skate shop always had. Shorty was really big then too, so I think that's probably why. But yeah, that stuff, I felt like Black Magic was kind of like what Pepper is now. I, you know, I, that's just kind of like how I remember it, you know, just being like a good grippy grip, you know, not mob, but like nice and grippy. Normally I would take this and like file it down I already have to vacuum, but like, I don't want to make a bigger mess than I need to. So I'm not going to right now. So I'm going to leave it like this. Got to poke some holes and stuff into it. Oh, I just felt all of the grip tape just like fall all over my legs. Anyways, this is like my least favorite part to do is like putting the hardware in here and poking the holes. It's just so annoying. I, I hate this. This is my least favorite part of like setting up a new board. So annoying. This is, I, this is, I'm, not, I'm going to stop filming because I don't even want to bore you guys so much with this. So I'm going to, I'm going to pause that and do this. Wait, that's the tail. Wait, whoa, your boy's getting so confused because the tail's square. I just assume it's the nose. I guess I'll put the two blue screws. I'm using just like this modus sparing hardware. It's an Allen key hardware. I literally have never used Allen key hardware. I feel until I got these. <laughs> Pretty chill hardware, can't complain. I honestly need to start labeling my trucks because both of them are kind of similar right now because these trucks are kind of new. So I wouldn't say one's like super grinded. I guess this truck does look like it has more crook grooves. I guess my base plate is more grinded up and it was crazy. I like cut my finger on the, my base plate earlier today because it was all sharp and I was like, whoa, that's like kind of gnarly. But okay, we got this thing on. I know some people label it like F or B or like they have a few different like techniques or whatever to kind of just distinguish their front truck and their back truck. 
And it's funny because like growing up, I remember this one guy at the skate park would always like purposely change his trucks. Like, so they would always be breaking in evenly, which I thought was kind of smart. I mean, I wouldn't do that personally, but I understand why you would do that. And I feel like it'd probably make your trucks last a little bit longer just because then you'd have like a fresh new crook groove each time. But also kind of annoying though too, because then you'll have like a whole process of like breaking in a new truck or like breaking in new grooves or whatever, you know? So I guess it's like a good, bad situation, you know? <laughs> Yo, honestly, thank goodness for this little ratchet tool. Like, I love these silver tools. They're honestly, like, such great tools. There's, like, a Burton snowboard tool that has this, but it's a screwdriver on this side. It's, like, a little pocket-like tool as well. And it's probably one of my favorite, like, snowboard snow skate tools. And it's always kind of reminded me of this tool. So I always go crisscross applesauce, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll hit this one and that one, this, that, you know? It's funny because this board is like giving me like Alien Workshop vibes and I used to love Alien Workshop. Like growing up in the East Coast, we used to only ride Alien Workshop or Habitat. And then, oh, you know what? There was a company called Seek Skateboards. I think that was off of Alien Workshop and that's what this reminds me of. I know that was so random. People probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you know, you know. Okay, I think I sunk these pretty deep. This board feels actually pretty light compared to my other board. I mean, there's no rails on it yet or anything, so maybe that'll change. But we are moving to the back side right now. Ooh, I always feel so strong when I puncture these through. ka -cha! You know? Yeah! All right. So as I'm putting these trucks on, these are actually my first set of hollow indies. I don't think I've ever had a set of hollow indies before this. And I did notice that they did come a little bit looser when they were stock. Because usually when Indies come stock, I don't have to tighten or loosen them like that. You know, when it's like kind of flush, the kingpin's like flush with the nut, that's like perfect for me. But the hollows, I actually had to like do a full 180 like tighten, which is kind of rare. But I do kind of like these like tighter just when I'm doing some tricks. Since this is more of my street setup, I've been trying to do a little bit more manual tricks. And I feel like the tighter trucks really help with it. I'm not saying tight trucks help with everybody that does manuals, but it helps me with manuals. And it's funny because we're like almost finished right now, but then I'm like looking at my tires I gotta still put on. Gotta take these old ones off. I gotta put my rails on too. What do you guys think we, I should do next? I think I'm just gonna put my wheels on next and save my rails for last. Cause maybe I'll put some stickers on my board before, you know? It seems pretty tight. I always like, you know, like to always run it one more time real quick, just to make sure. Cause it always loosens up, I swear, in that first session, it'll like get loose. So I like to like crank that thing down and then crank it even after, honestly. But okay, cool. The board is, uh, we got the trucks on and it's looking chill. That silver chrome look is crazy. <laughs> so we are gonna move on now to the wheels right here. I've been skating these wheels a lot. These are pretty much my go-to street wheels. If I'm not skating like my pro models that are 44 millimeters, which I usually skate on the curbs, I'm gonna be skating these bad boys right here. You can get a better look at them. I am riding the Bones Big Ball Bearings. They're like an upgrade from Bones Reds, but they're not essentially Bones Swiss. But if you want something that's a little bit smoother than Bones Reds, these are something I suggest. And they're definitely like reasonably priced, I feel, for what they are. These have lasted me now for like a handful of wheels. Oh, this one's kind of shot right here, actually. Like I was saying, I've had these set up for like at least four different sets of wheels or something like that. So I'm not surprised that at least one or two is broken, which kind of reminds me, I probably need to now go get new bearings or at least a few new bearings. Maybe I can dig up a few later, but for now I'll, I'll deal with it. It's still rolling. <laughs> Since I am riding the 149, like if I was riding a 144, I would actually probably put both the washers here just to like poke it out a little bit more. But since this is the 149, I'm just gonna put the washers one on one on each side, kind of call it a day. Screw this bad boy on. Kind of random, but what I like to do is just only tighten the nut till it's like flush, honestly. Just so if I do land Primo or anything or like slappy a curb and it hits it, it just will be less of a chance of that getting stripped. So I kind of just leave it there, let it have a little wiggle wiggle. And yeah, it's pretty chill. Honestly, it's still going pretty good. So I guess I'm okay with it. I'm gonna move on to the next one. But yeah, comment and let me know what kind of wheels and bearings you guys ride. And have any of you guys tried these big ball bearings? Like, do you guys like them or not? I'm not sponsored by Bones or anything. So I'm not like promoting any of it. I'm honestly not, like I don't have a board sponsor either. 
I'm just curious what you guys think of. Oh man, that one's like, whoa. Oh, that bearing is so busted right there. Oh, okay, your boy definitely needs to go get a new bearing. Oh, all of these are kind of bad. Okay, I might need to go do some digging and come back to this. <laughs> these are just some bones reds in here. Gonna steal these. Don't, don't tell anybody, you know? I won't tell anybody. Ooh -ah. Ooh -ah. Okay, gonna put those there. Okay, so now we're gonna have a few little, little mix up of bearing. These reds are definitely way newer, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but you can't go wrong, you just can't. All right, I'm gonna finish off these wheels and then um, we'll go do my rails next. Do that, I low key might throw some stickers on this. So I'm gonna grab some stickers and we'll put some stickers on this thing and we'll throw the rails on this thing. Maybe because I really wanna actually switch up and get some like DCs or something. But for now, I'm gonna like throw this on for right now. I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna put it like right here because you can kind of like see it in the black part, which is kind of cool. Even though like I know my rails are gonna like cover up this thing a little bit, but whatever. I'm gonna throw the SB there. It's funny because like my sticker process sometimes I'm like just so indecisive and like I can't decide where I want things to go. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as I can. <laughs> okay, I think it looks pretty fresh right there. Throw the Rosie up here too. Gotta always support the local doggy. Put the nice rosy in there. Right. It'd be funny if he was just like posted like next to this thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it right here. You just draw like the little S, like this little S. Yeah, what do you guys call this S? Do you guys call it like the Stussy S, the Skater S, Surfer S, 90s S, S thing? Like I cannot find a place like where you actually call this thing. Like anyways, let me know what you guys call that thing. I want to just draw it on here. I feel like that'd be like pretty funny somewhere. Where should I do it? Like underneath, homie. Just kind of sneak it in, you know? That's right there. No big deal. I brought this marker over here really was to put my rails on. So usually I put my rails in two inches. And the reason why I do it so much is just because when I do board slide hurricane and like board, like all the board slide tilt tricks, it just allows me to have more tilt into it. It's just a little bit easier. I'm gonna kind of cover up my S unfortunately, but at the same time, it's kind of good. It's a good dot reference right there. Do you like it when I do do the little double side because then it does like keep it in place, you know what I mean? Which is kind of fresh. So maybe I will do that for like a few of them. Maybe like the middle one, you know what I mean? I mean, do you guys do this too for your rails? I feel like a lot of people don't even skate rails. So like this probably does not even apply to them. But yeah, I'm gonna put this little piece of tape like right here. But I also wanted to put like something under the screw just so it kind of catches else, like has something to catch on, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Oh, damn, my S got completely covered. Okay, obviously I'm gonna have to draw another one, I guess. <laughs> uh, is that like kind of the middle? That looks like pretty decent. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna move to the ground. This is like sketchy. Love to call myself the man with the plan, but like there's really no plan right now. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna somehow kind of puncture through that, that first screw right there. It kind of worked actually. I worked better than I thought it was going to, so. It's not bad. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're on to something. And I want to say, so that's where the little dot is I made. That looks pretty chill, honestly. That looks pretty good. I'm usually so bad at this. Wait, you know what? I'm going to take this out. Okay, those screws are not coming out, so I guess we're staying in. I hope my head's not covering this. Honestly, we're on like a great roll. I haven't like, like haven't kicked it down on the screwdriver yet. Been kind of, been kind of mindful on each one. Okay. Oh, we need one more screw. Why do I feel like I'm missing a screw? Oh man, I think I'm missing a screw. Okay. That went in really nice. 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 Okay. Yo, that went in like really good. Like that rail right here. This rail right here is gonna stay in and be real nice. Gave her a little, you know what I'm saying? Just a little. Okay. Okay. All right, we're all, hell yeah. That's the best like rail putting on experience I've ever had. All right, that's your boy's new setup. It's looking pretty chill. So just kind of go over it one more time. It's an 825 quasi board with a 14 inch wheelbase, 32 inches long exactly. I didn't measure the nose and tail, but they do look pretty like pretty big. I'm gonna guess this is what seven. Yeah, nose is like a seven. This is what six and change. Yeah, six and a half. So it's pretty standard I wanna say. 
I have the 149s on here. And you can actually see with the 149s, it actually like is pretty perfect. Like it actually lines up pretty nice in my opinion. A 144 would obviously line up even better, I think. But the 149 is pretty chill. I think you can get away with it. Also with the 149, you can ride like the 8.3 and like an 8.5 if you really want with that. So I feel like it's pretty diverse truck size, honestly. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to skate this thing. Uh, comment, let me know what you guys are riding right now. Let me know what size you're riding. And let me know why you guys are riding it. Since I don't have a skateboard sponsor right now, it is really fun for me to try all these different brands. There are just so many and there's so many different shapes. So definitely let me know what you guys are riding. And I'll have to do a break-in video and let you guys know if this shiny reflectiveness is even a problem. Because honestly, it looks pretty fresh. I feel like when you're actually skating and flip your board, it probably looks pretty sick. But I could be wrong.